Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're rocking me. Got my six, I mean to have my back. Because I have yours, I'm going to pull from the Hidden Secrets hearts, and then we're going to pull to see um, different tarots. We're going to pull three different tarot cards, one York your energy as an empath um, or just as a loving cancer um, another energy of the things or the issues that you've been dealing with and then the other as clarifying how you got through it and how you've been dealing with it so here we go um you guys do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video red hearts you made it through purple hearts it resonates green hearts you're working on it yellow hearts you rock with me got my six me to have my back because I have yours. Now, this was at the bottom of this deck when um, I had uh, did my shuffle, my last read. It says, Cloudy Judgment, Illusions, Unbiased, and Distorted. And I said that if you guys check out my reading, um, it's called Don't Force It. If you guys uh, can um, check that out, you'll see that that was at the end of the reading. But there's clarity and there's beginnings here. Uh, try again, new direction, and start over. We have nourish and exhaustion, and uh, it says one day. It says someday, somewhere, and another time is here. So um, the cloudy judgment is you having clarity now and that there needs to be uh, a new direction or you need to start over when it comes to this uh, energy that you've been dealing with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clarify with the empath tarot to see. It's empath, reiki, and um, what is it? Empath, reiki, and I think. Um, oh, I don't know the other one, but something like that. But it's you using your intuition, basically. So the cloudy judgment, what is going on with your cloudy judgment? Why are, do you have part cloudy judgment, meaning your third eye um, is blocked or you're not trusting and your intuition comes out with the emperor energy? It says strong leader. You're not sure if you're able to lead a situation. The emperor energy is about respecting yourself. You're not sure if you're going to be able to lead or respect yourself when it comes to clarity, true intentions comes out with the yeah ace of cups energy emotional readiness yeah you don't feel like you're able to trust yourself and that you're emotional stable in order to have a new beginning or to start over um, or go into a new direction and so that is where you have to learn to nourish yourself and this is the six of swords energy because it's much needed change and you're unsure about it because it comes out sideways um, which is the six of swords like I said you're unsure about it but nourishing it and also having self-growth and self-focus and finding and soul finding, which is soul searching, going into hermit mode, comes out with doing what makes your heart happy. The lover's energy, a euphoric choice when it comes to you following your heart. You have to follow your heart. And um, that's what the queen of, excuse me, um, what is it? The king of cups? No, the the pay, the knight of cups energy says always follow your heart it'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't change and that's in regards to love how you nourish yourself how how you nourish yourself when it comes to love how it comes to uh when it depletes you so this is when we normally get to a point to where we are walking away uh from exhaustion and where that's what we're clarifying now is because our heart choices our heart uh yeah, look at all the cards that come out. Making a decision, uh, page of coins, energy. Okay, so this is me turning it over. This card needs to be turned over. Ten of coins when it comes to a foundation. So five of cups, having the inside and knowledge to know what's causing you sound, uh, excuse me, which causing, having the inside and knowledge to know what's causing you uh, sadness. And also one day, someday, you'll have a foundation. You'll be able to build a family, a foundation, and be secure, lasting security. But at some point, you need to understand that the exhaustion comes from you knowing what's causing sadness, which was the last card to come out. Page of coin, recognizing the opportunities that you have and that you're lacking because you are afraid to make decisions and to make a choice. And that's you being honest with yourself about the directions that you need to go in and why you need to nourish yourself yourself and that's where the recognition comes in at that it's a necessary ending when it comes to you not trusting in yourself why things need to change and this is because earn trust four swords energy is rest and relaxation you need to pull back your energy in order for you to understand meditate and recuperate and um, instead of contemplating on why you're 
exhausted. You already know why. You have the insight and knowledge, haunts and loss, to know what's causing you sadness and why you need to end certain situations. And then when it comes to the full energy, fearless beginnings, you have to be able to take that leap. And that's what you're afraid to do is to take the leap to move forward, to end the situations and also five of coins because you struggle with this. It says heart misfortune, but the five of coins, five years you've been going through trying to make this decision. Each pinnacle is equivalent to a year. So five years you've been trying to make a decision in regards to why you already know you're afraid to lose a person, place, thing or a situation, but somehow you just keep going and going like the will of fortune rolling with the punches and going with the flow instead of you actually doing the things that you know you need to do and that's the hard part about our hearts and love and the stability that the lack of stability that we have for ourselves but we share for everyone we give everybody else stability when it comes to relying and depending on us but when it comes to us being depleted drained and having a long journey it's because we don't recognize our own strengths and what we're capable of doing we know we're capable of of boosting everybody else's confidence and um, also recognizing everybody else's strength. But this part of believing in yourself is what is exhausting you because you believe in everyone else. And when it comes to yourself, your judgment and your clarity is clouded and you don't want to take the opportunity to move forward to something that you know can help you out. And that's the reason why the energy is the way that it is. So I'm going to pull from... Doo -doo -doo -doo, What's the T to see what comes out, um, what also comes out. But again, you're not trusting in yourself and the new direction and starting over comes with you going into hermit mode, which is soul searching. And um, when it comes to the T, it says creeping. Yeah, so somebody's been watching you. You've been creeping on trying to make a decision. But again, um, when it comes to the bad reputation, you don't want to have a bad reputation and you don't want to... Uh, it says, say anything, does anything, make shit up and dramatic. You don't want somebody to um, basically, um, it, it says, okay, so it says thief here, rob, loss, theft, physical or emotional. You don't want somebody to steal your joy on why you are the way that you are. So the plants being here are growth, but you think that, you know, the person who's been watching you, who wants you to fail and who has Try, who will try to sabotage you based upon trying to make you look bad you don't want to give them that satisfaction so you move in silence damn you move in silence in order to try to figure out how to do a foundation with this certain situation this certain energy or the certain people or job or some type of thing that's causing you um to love a situation unconditionally because again you don't want to be honest with you don't want somebody else to make you look crazy because of the time, the years that you've wasted. Again, we have five years out here, the time that you wasted 10 years here in order to try to get security, but five years of you struggling. So I think that's why you haven't moved forward when it comes to certain situations and going from there. So that's what I believe. So yeah, you just don't want that energy or somebody, you, you don't want to give somebody the satisfaction of, winning if that makes sense so you're going to stick around and kind of wait and try to make things um try to make things better or i don't know how to i don't know how to say that it's not make things better you're trying to make it last if that makes sense like but it's already you already know you've reached this point of exhaustion so uh, and being depleted and drained so if this is in regards to a relationship i'm going to pull from the modern love tarot deck to see what comes out but yeah yep queen of pentacles again so in my last read if you guys really need to watch that i really think you should because it's about don't for, don't force things queen of pentacles uh like jds tarot says the queen of pentacles can be toxic to herself when she gets in a situation he or she gets to a situation to where they'll do anything for family they have the finances they have the means of manifestation and like queen amin ross says we are the the queen of pentacles is the mother of the zodiac a loving nurturing person and also someone who is financially and um uh, my financial nurturing and loving but uh when i was learning tarot and actually understanding the meetings the quote that stuck out to me which i have on my wall I always have it so i can 
because I forget everything. But anyway, it says a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. That no matter what is toxic. That's the toxicity that causes exhaustion because you're going to do everything to make things appear to be correct or be okay and mask the, the basically. And that was the seven of cups that came out um, in the last read because all the options you have, you there's a mask there, there's a snake, there's a house, there's a heart, there is money, and um, uh, what has a couple of other things there. But you choose to mask your energy and move in silence to look and appear happy when you know that you're not. And do you see the cards that come out? And the cards that come out is hermit energy, and that's what this energy is. Um, it's self-growth, is focused, and it's soul-finding. And this is the hermit energy, which is basically meditating, which is the four of swords energy, which I believe came out right here. Yes, um, meditating. And I said that earlier because you're trying to figure out the easiest way to let this energy either grow on its own or while you're moving in silence and doing things on the back burner. These cards also came out. I'm going to go ahead and turn those over. But the star energy, the star energy comes out twice, I think, I want to say. See, that's what I'm saying. I, re I forget everything all the time. So where's the star energy? It said, I think the star energy doo -doo -doo, came out. That's the Six of Swords. Was it in this reading? Do 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 Lovers. Mm, maybe it wasn't in this reading. Was it at the bottom of the deck? Ten of coins? No. Well, the star energy might have been in the other reading, which is being optimistic, and that's the cloudy judgment. So, um, oh, well, we can leave it at that. So maybe that's what I'm trying to see. But anyway, I'm just, there you go. The star energy is here. It's you. Here's the, here's the, what is this called? A thunder, thunderbolt, a bolt, a lightning bolt. And this is the stars, basically the illusion of being optimistic. And that's who the star energy is. The star energy is, um, you know, uh, kind of having faith. It's like having faith in regards to a situation and, yeah, and, and allowing it to, to unfold the way that the universe sees fit. So you're putting it in the hands of the universe instead of you knowing that it's something you're going to let a tower moment come which is an unexpected ending necessary ending but unexpected unexpected you're going to allow this energy to end on its own because of the fact that you don't want to um, walk away six of swords energy from the needed change again necessary ending and needed change so the six of swords and the death energy is here, but the death energy, and this is because you don't want to look bad. And so the death energy says, embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. So you're going to have faith in regards to this energy, which may take five years. It may take 10 years for the foundation to be set. But again, you're not doing this for clout. You're doing this for love. And that's where the queen of Pentacles can try to nurture up all kind of herbs and and things to try to make herself healthier feel better to make the relationship to see the 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 lack of whatever um in the what, what do you call it when um it's the, no, wait when you insu, insufficiency no um deficiencies that a person may be having when it comes to you know having um anxiety or uh, need in valerian root because they can't sleep or ashwagandha because they're having panic attacks or um, um, what is it called? Uh, darn, I can't think of what it's called. But anyway, the aphrodisiacs, healthy aphrodisiacs of a way of helping someone um, motivate themselves. And so that is what the soul searching is. Remember, um, if you watch uh, any of these um, um, type of shows where um, there is always someone searching for an herb or a cure to either heal a cut, to heal a wound, or something like that to help somebody come alive. And when it comes to me uh, thinking and what I'm looking at is Frodo and I'm looking at Harry Potter when they use the herbs and the spells to uh, try to heal a person. Um, um, I was going to say something repair -o. when they repair the glasses. Uh, or the herb, uh, the screaming root, which are real herbs. 
if you look up the Harry Potter movie, if you look them up, they're they're real herbs and the what is it? The nettle, nettle, stinging nettle. When the thing was screaming, that nettle is really good for a lot of uh, you know. I'm not a I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. But anyway, the will of fortune. Excuse me, I burp. But the will of fortune is you know the ebb and flows of life. But it also is you going with the flow. It's like you would rather go with the flow than to let, allow someone else to embarrass you. And that's when the universe says, even though the death energy comes out twice, even though it looks good, it's not. And that's where the exhaustion comes in at. Death energy, embrace change. Sorry, my garage door is open and my kid came home. Embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. The new beginnings is a butterfly uh, uh, you know, it looks bad, but it, you turn into a chrysalis. The butterfly actually evolves in the process of going into hermit mode. Does that make sense? And so, therefore, when it comes to the Seven of Cups, here's a card that I was telling you about. So it comes out, right? So the Seven of Cups, again, it is the tower. I mean, the, the castle. It's the crystals. What is this? The diamond ring. I can't. Re oh, yeah, the, di the diamond ring is here. So that's the diamond ring. It's the mask. It's the heart, and it's the snake, and then it's the money, and it's the puppy, um, or whatever. And so these are the energies that you have to understand when it comes to being successful and winning. You have to know why one day, someday, you're going to have your foundation, but you have to have faith in yourself. And sometimes the moving in silence is what you choose to do, and then the universe says, no, no. You're robbing yourself of everything that you could possibly have, all of the options and opportunities that you can have in order for you to try again for a new beginning. And that's why you need to trust in your situation, have clarity and trust in your intuition because you're emotional to have emotional control, which is the King of Cups energy. You have to end these things that no longer serve you, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see that. Now I'm going to pull from the, um, what is this? The Cozy Witch Tarot, because this gives you a, a little bit more perspective on what it is that you need. You have to nourish yourself. You have to recognize your strengths. But you also have to know that one day you will have your Ten of Cups energy or your Ten of Pentacles energy, which is the love and the foundation. One day you will have that foundation that you're looking for. But you have to kiss a couple of frogs in order to do that, you know, if that makes sense. And so that is the strong leader when it comes to the emperor and learning to respect yourself. That is hard to do. But again, once you learn and you go through the turmoils, you turn out to be the person and not worry about and taking things personally, watch it, which is why I tell you to listen to the four agreements is not not taking things personally and also speaking your mind. But the six of swords, it has to be with you walking away. And the king of swords is for you to understand that when it comes to having mental clarity, clarity again twice and having the authority, which is the emperor energy, learning to respect yourself and also understanding that the truth, which is the clarity again, will set you free. But you have to understand that you have the power to do all of this. And one day it will happen, but you have to respect yourself. And that comes with the Ten of Cups. I said the Ten of Cups energy. But let's read it at the bottom of the deck. It says, my son just busted in my room. And I'm actually recording. So at the bottom of the deck, it says, okay, but sometimes it really is all rainbows and smiles. Knowing that the Ten of Pentacles comes with you having faith and also moving in silence but letting go of the things that no longer serve you which is the things that cause you exhaustion so you can have your ten of cups energy and that is you know when you understand that that's a completion that you need to have within yourself it has nothing to do with anyone else it's within yourself but the six of swords comes out with the king of swords also with which is again mental clarity you having mental clarity that you need when it comes to the six of swords knowing when to hold them and when to fold them and that's walking away and it says all aboard which it says it's time to write a new chapter and the new chapter is learning when the exhaustion is enough and not to care about how somebody feels about why you walked away or when you walked away and how you walked away and what you went through. 
and it's trusting in yourself. And that, again, is about respecting yourself. And also, when it comes to the King of Swords, it says, we can all learn important things from one another. And that's why I say, no man is your enemy. No man, I don't say it, but that came in the game of life. And I took on, took it on. But no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. And thank them. That's why I say, send strength and healing period, to a person, place, thing, or a situation. And that's why we let go of every reading at the end of the reading, all of this negative energy, but we start with learning how not to take things personally. Always do your best. That's the part of the four agreements. And the mold divide is here. And so, again, don't overdo it. We're not overdoing our nurturing, nurturing loving side. We're not going to overexhaust ourselves. We're going to always have clarity and we're not we're gonna we're not gonna have a cloudy judgment. We're gonna trust in our intuition, and that's called growth. And it's time to try things again and start over. And it's okay with that. Not worrying about how somebody has stole the time from you, or stole your joy, or joy, or what somebody else sees on the outside of this while they're peeping. So it says, don't overdo. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself, and it will take you longer to accomplish your goals. Ten years it takes you to five years of struggling and ten years that it will take you to get to this point if you will keep allowing people to steal your joy. And then we have the Moldavite crystal. Um, the Moldavite is right there. I can't really grab it. Let's see. It's right here. Wait, screen. There we go. Okay, so the Motivite crystal is here, and it says crown, third eye, throat, and heart chakra, cosmic connections, high vibration, and acceleration. Cosmic connections, high vibration, and acceleration. It says my perception of the universe is expanding. You're trusting in the universe, and you're having faith, and you're being optimistic about what it is that the universe has to offer for you, but you're understanding that it's okay to start over and try it again and not to wait for endings to happen. Remember, embrace change. This is time to change and let go of what no longer serves you, right? The exhaustion, the sadness, the this, somebody's stealing, all this stuff, you know. Embrace change, let go of what no longer, what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. But anyway, let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.